today we're here, um, Ask Me Anything webinar broker series. Um, and what we're really going to focus on today is, uh, you know, the strategies or items that we've been getting the most questions about over the last quarter. Um, so sort of the first phase of the question is uh, centered around what is a particular strategy. And then um, we've got some follow up questions that we see coming up often um, and some questions that have been submitted by uh, the audience that we have here. So uh, first up. Um, you know, daily calls on this is the uh, limited lines program or the uh, hard market uh, solution for excess uh, property and casualty lines. Um, Wes, why don't you kick us off and and talk about what that is, and, and then we can get into some of the you know some of the commonly asked questions. Okay, perfect. So the limited lines program was really born out of necessity because the insurance marketplace was hard or unavailable in, for certain lines of coverage. Uh, so as a result, you can actually write this specialized coverage, could be excess, could be, uh, we've used it for commercial auto, we've used it for a lot of different um, types of policies, but you pay the premiums to the carrier, the carrier then reinsures it with a lot of different reinsurance companies. So at the end of the day, you're taking 20% of the risk and 80% is laid off to all of these other insurance companies. But what happens is with good claims experience, there's money sitting there that can be returned to the owner of that individual cell. So a lot of, a lot of our clients are coming to us and asking us, is this, would this work for us? And a lot of the times the answer is yeah, because the market has just gotten so hard for certain lines of coverage. So I want to follow up on uh, the comment you made there. So, uh, you know, in my experience, the challenge with doing excess layers or umbrella layers within the captive was always that, you know, there was, uh, the limits were too big. You know, hey, maybe somebody's paying five hundred thousand in premium or a million in premium, but if the potential loss is five, ten, or fifteen million, you know, there was just too much gap there, um, too much capital at risk for you know the client or their captive. And what I heard you say was that there's a reinsurance uh, component to this now. Um, is is that correct? And what does that look like? Yeah, correct. So it's a it, it's a reinsurance treaty with a lot of other insurance companies. And the individual captive, that cell, is taking 20% of the risk of, of whatever the, the policy is. Let's say it's a $5 million policy for excess. The captive takes 20% of the risk, and then the other 80 is given out to the other insurance companies. So let's say that you had a million-dollar loss on your first layer of excess. The captive pays 200000 and then the other insurance companies pay their pro rata share of the neck of that of the other eight hundred thousand. Fascinating. So on a five million dollar limit, what you're really whittling, you know, the the client's captive retention down to is just, is only a million. So while they are taking some risk, it's not, you know, it's not this overwhelming uh, amount that makes it, you know, sort of not feasible. Correct, because that's where. That's where our clients always got scared. If they were taking a $5 million excess policy in their captive, they were, you know, a lot of times hesitant to say, okay, I'm going to bite off that whole 500000 or $5 million in order to save a million dollars in premium. Right. The saving sounds good, but, you know, one bad year and you never quite recover from that. Correct. But this, this, is, this addresses that. That's excellent. And I heard you mention that this is uh, facilitated using, you know, one, that reinsurance or, or that that pooling structure, but then that it's done in a in a cell captive um, or a specialty cell captive. Um, can you give us two lines on, on what a specialty cell captive is compared to, you know, maybe a single parent captive? Yeah. So a, a single parent captive is is one where the business sets up their own captive to ensure the risk of their business. A specialty cell is you have a sponsor, so the sponsor sets it up, but then there's individual, those cells are like little mini individual insurance companies underneath them. 
So that cell is responsible for its risk. And I mean, you could have hundreds of cells underneath the, the sponsor insurance company. Got it. And the specialty component of it is that it's it's really only existing to address this type of, you know, to address this solution. You know, we're not writing a dozen other lines in this particular captive. We're, we're solving the one problem. Correct. That's that individual cell is is providing coverage for that individual business. And it can be manuscripted in any way to solve the particular insurance need of that individual client.